having me. This was not the only. Uh, Look. Great again, or something like that. It ends in New Jersey, which has a huge 20, Indian population. Percent. Yeah, you, you know, these uh, flyers, as reprehensible are as they are, are not reflective of the state of New Jersey no, or the city of Hoboken. Not. We're a very diverse and welcoming community in Hoboken. I'm honored to have the privilege of serving as the next mayor. And um, really, you know, I want to send a message that uh, that's not what Hoboken's about. That's not what New Jersey's about. We know right here, that, we'll tell you that, yeah. We know that the Sikh community has been targeted since 9-11. We remember yeah. President Trump himself yeah. saying Very good. that there were Muslims cheering on the roofs of buildings in right. Jersey City, a neighbor to Hoboken, right after 9-11. We know that's absolutely not the case. But what has it been like for the last few years for you, and what drove you to run? I mean, just a week ago, you have. saw the terror attack mm. right here in New York City in Tribeca, and that terrorist was from Patterson, New Jersey. There was a lot of concerns. There was a lot of fears from the Muslim community that there would be a backlash. Yeah, uh, it's a very uh, different environment right now, and uh, a lot of minorities are under assault. Um, you know, my campaign was based upon local issues, improving our infrastructure, protecting ourselves from uh, the next Superstorm Sandy, fiscal responsibility, the basics. But, you know, unfortunately, we live in times when um, the, the federal government has policies that are impacting uh, vulnerable communities. So it's important uh, to step up and stand up. I just want to say that, love. obviously, Sikhs are not Muslims. I'm just trying to make it yeah, clear. the point yes, about the, yes. the fear that people have of those who seem to be different. I mean, the Sikh community in America has been here for, in, in some parts, for over 100 years. Correct. Uh, they were involved in the, the building of the railway uh, out west. You are no particular uh, stranger to politics. Um, one of the things in this paralyzed federal government that we're talking about is that more is falling to states and local municipalities to, to get things done because people actually like the relative lack of politicization and the fact that guys like you have right. specific policies that you have to get done. What, what kinds of things are you most looking to get done in Hoboken? Well, uh, first focusing on the basics that I just mentioned. Uh, but you're absolutely correct uh, with um, with the national uh, the, the in Washington D.C. with um, you know the administration, it's falling upon uh, the governors of the states and the, the mayors of cities to really be at the front lines of defending our rights uh, as as citizens. So um, you know we are a welcome community. We're very diverse. Uh, we want to work with Washington D.C. with the administration. But if there's ever an instance where the citizens of Hoboken or the people of New Jersey have their rights under assault, yep. it's our obligation to defend and protect them. Very good, sir. Thank you very Jersey much for joining and us. You. Perfect together. That's you New Jerseyans uh, taking over. Good to see you, Mayor-elect of Hoboken, Ravi Bala. The first Sikh mayor in Hoboken.